So I recently picked up a new Apple Watch, which would be the Ultra 2 in black titanium. Looks super nice, by the way. And if you're looking for a quick little unboxing and first impression video, definitely check that out. But as I was saying, I did pick up the watch and part of the reason that I picked that up is because I'm trying to get back into shape and of course the whole fitness apps and everything that would go along with that. Now, one of the ones that was highly recommended is the Work Outdoors app, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt. This is Dwyer Creatives. And today, as I just mentioned, we're going over the Work Outdoors app as a first impression. Now, it is Two Minute Tuesday, so this is going to be short, or I'm going to try to keep it short. And that's why we're only going to be talking about the first impressions and my first time using it, a few little hiccups that I ran into, and how I fixed them. So let's put two minutes on that clock and get this started. All right, plane right there. So we're at a local nature preserve, just taking a quick walk. And I am testing out the workout app, see how it goes. We've already done one lap, which was just about a mile. So we're about on our second one. I'm gonna cut in right here just to kind of speed this up because it is supposed to be a two minute Tuesday. Now this app does have a one-time payment. I believe it's like seven or $8. It is not a subscription and is not reoccurring. Now I was comparing this to my Gaia app that I use all the time for hiking, walking, and off-roading just to have something to compare the metrics and the data to. At the end of that, it was about two laps. It took us just under an hour. In terms of the total distance between the two apps, the Work Outdoor app said it was about 2.15 miles, while the Gaia said it was 2.17. I'm gonna say that that's pretty close enough, but, but that will be something I have to monitor long term. Now, in terms of the elevation loss and gain, this was pretty flat, so it wasn't a whole lot. In the Work Outdoors app, it was about 16 feet loss or gain. And then in the Gaia, it was about 20 feet. So again, pretty close. And that might just have to do with how their GPS data is recorded. Now, because the Work Outdoors app is more fitness orientated, I do like that you can get your pace, your cadence, and then also your heart rate, your calories, and also your steps. I like to be able to see that. And I like how they give you the map and that's laid out for your hot zone, sure, where you're faster, where you're slower. For me, I like having that visual. Now, of course, in the Gaia, you don't get that because it's not meant for that. It's more of a recording where you want to go and then also where you have been. The one thing that I did come across with the Work Outdoor app was that the calorie and the heart rate was not working. And I didn't realize this until after I did everything. Sitting at home, trying to figure it out, I shut everything off, turned it all back on, make sure everything was connected. All the settings were where it's supposed to be. I restarted both devices and still nothing. And the way that I ended up fixing this was I went back, turned all the settings off, restarted both devices, and then turned all the settings on. And that, I guess, did something where it allowed it to connect and be able to record for next time. So if you are having that issue, turn all the settings off, restart your devices, and then turn them all on. And hopefully that should work for you. Now I know I do blast by these two minute Tuesdays. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it up here for my first impressions. For the price again, it is like seven or $8. I think that in the long term, this will be well invested. I like that you have all of that data and metrics there for you if you want it. Now I also like that it includes a ton of different exercises that you can do. And there's a long list that just go ahead and check out the app and you'll see what's there. Now, if you have any thoughts or questions, let me know below. And if you have any other apps that you think I should check out for the Apple Watch, definitely let me know that down in the comments too, because I'm always looking for new things to test and try out, especially if it helps you just with daily things. Now, I will mention another app that I will be testing in the future is the Athletic app. And I've had quite a few people mention this to me and then of course seen a lot of good reviews. The only thing with that is that it is a reoccurring cost. It is a subscription, but they do give you one week to try it out. So I guess I'll have to do that and then see if I want to subscribe to it. Because the Apple Watch is really new to me, this is my first Apple Watch. I will be doing a few more videos in the future. If you're interested in that, tech, cameras, or anything like that, Make sure you subscribe, and then if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. It better helps tell me if y'all enjoy this content. Now, I really am going to wrap this up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.